First night game in Keenan in a little bit. What are you expecting for that atmosphere? Uh, I think, I don't know. Well, actually, I have been. Last time I went to a game was a recruit. It was Virginia Tech at night, and uh, it was raining. Oh, yeah. But it was fun, though, but it mm -hmm. was raining. So, uh, it was, uh, I mean, it's, I think it's a cool experience. Like, rain or shine, like, fans going to show up. Mm -hmm. And I know like, a lot of schools have, you know, trouble with attendance, but I'm calling all of our fans this week to show up. Thank you. What's been the kind of atmosphere with the team, kind of as a whole, preparing for that first night game? Uh, we don't treat it any differently, I don't think. Um, we just come in and shut up and work. So. When you look, like having Chaz back? Uh, good, you know, he's a, he's a good player. Really good player, really gifted athlete. Um, vocal guy, you know, he knows he knows what to do and how to do it. Um, it's, I mean, and, and he's he pretty young, to be honest. You know, like, in comparison to, like, you know, college football. Like, he's a he pretty young guy, so for him to be able to do what he does at such a, such a young age is, is amazing to me. How does he boost the team's morale? Uh, I think he just he brings a uh, a charisma, you know, when he's in the game, and even when he's not in the game, you know, he's he's an awesome dude. Uh, even cool to hang out with, you know, off the field. So I just think he brings a, a, an energy. What do you look for in your quarterback when you're in a huddle? Uh, it don't matter to me. I mean, I think obviously a quarterback got to be communicative. Um, that's a word, right? Because right, I've been saying it. Uh, yeah. So I just think. You know, being a leader, you know, first and foremost, uh, uh, communicating with your O-line, your running backs, and your receivers. Um, and then, you know, knowing what to do. And especially when you have young guys outside, um, knowing what they do. Because then, yeah, sometimes yeah, they're going to mess up. People mess up. We're human. So, I just think being able to have a quarterback that says, hey, you're supposed to line up or scoot in some, or scoot out some, or you're off the ball. Like, that's, that's huge. Some things you picked up on in the film. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we lost. We lost like, what, like 30 points, 35, something like that. We lost by a lot of points. But um, there's some good things too, though. You know, I think we started off running the ball really strong. Um, I think some bad things besides the turnovers was we just had too many missed assignments. And uh, we got to be able to make plays. And, you know, they bring us here to, you know, make plays, uh, extend plays. With our athletic you know, ability, our, our gifted, our gifted talent, and we just got to be able to extend plays when we can. And when we get closer to the end zone, we got to score. With Chaz's legs specifically, how does that open up the running game? Uh, yeah, uh, someone that that has to keep the defense honest, you know, because if they just load the box and you know, slant in, then Chaz gonna keep it. But being able to have, being to have, yeah, being able to have Chaz back there, you know, with good legs, and actually all of our quarterbacks can run. So, um, but just. Having having him be able to you know stretch the field laterally is nice. Uh, going over top, make the big play. <laughs> <laughs>